We're in Wyoming. Slip here in this little area. It's a little town called Mititsi. Mititsi. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Mititsi. <laughs> Today I'm going to be riding way out in the middle of nowhere to uh, a place that I've been told Amelia Earhart was building a cabin. And that was the last thing that happened before she died on her uh, big trip. So uh, I'm, I've been told by some ranchers that it's pretty uh, rough roads, uh, some creek crossings that are pretty dangerous. Um, they said I could make it, but uh, they said be very careful. So I'm by myself. So are you ready to experience adventure? Let's ride. Okay, I at least found the road that I was told to go down. They said it would be a long dirt road that gets rough later. I heard it was about 30 miles one direction and then another farmer said, no way, it's longer. So I don't know what the truth is, but that's part of the adventure, right? We're gonna go explore, see what we find. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think it might be this way. I hope it's this way. Oh, nice. Something ahead. Looks like I'm gonna be choking on dust for a little while. That's my favorite. Try to ease around them pretty quick without offending them. Just try to wave and be nice. It's hard to, you know, stop and explain. I'm going a little faster than you and don't want to eat your dust. Appreciate it. Yeah, the road's getting a bit rough. Had some rocky sections back there, but not too bad I was talking to a rancher on the way out here and uh, he said he said are you going out there in something fancy I said no I'm taking my bike and he says okay good a lot of people try to go out there and in their fancy stuff and Cadillacs and they end up leaving car parts and stuff along the way because it gets so rough I am expecting some creek crossings and that's a big hole I have to jump over that one yeah, I'm expecting some creek crossings and I said, how bad are they? They said they change constantly, so they couldn't tell me. But they said they see uh, four-wheelers get washed away in them. But they said this time of year should be okay. I'm like, should be? <laughs> so I'm not too worried, but uh, I do need to be careful out here by myself. I know they keep warning me about bears over here. Be alert, make noise, carry bear spray. Don't go alone, do not run. Okay, I got most of that right. Oh, it looks like here's my first creek crossing. Got a little sideways in there. <laughs> One of those rocks kicked my back in sideways. Nothing too bad though. Gosh, this is beautiful. This is insane. I just can't believe where we are right now. the creek not too deep this one looks a little deeper yeah that one's got a hole in it I can see I think I'm gonna go around this one or take that line because I can see it's really deep right there I could go that way I'm gonna come 
right there. That should be easy. It's deeper than it looks though. I've crossed enough of these to know. Don't trust it. All right, let's go this way. Oh man, the rocks are slippery. Ugh. That'll get it done. These, this loose, these loose rocks, they kind of become like sand, where it's just like really loose and hard to get grip. Looks like I got hunting here. And so you kind of have to be careful, especially at slower speeds. Oh, all right, I'm gonna stand up. It's getting rough. Pick up the speed a little bit. Make it easier on myself. That was awesome. They were inside 20 yards. That is crazy. I, I think they were confused. They just kept walking towards me. I, I, I don't think they knew where I was. I was being really still. That was wild. Wow, look at that. Man. It's just a bunch of crumbled up rock coming down the side of that mountain. That is fantastic. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, it's getting rocky. <laughs> I think this is a better line over here. Uh, maybe I should have stayed over there. <laughs> Split, I'm guessing to the right. I don't know. I went for it. Hopefully this is the way to get to Amelia Earhart's cabin. Oh man. This rock has just been like tumbled and grinded and just like beat to pieces. Just piles of it both sides of the mountain. That one's way high. Do you know if maybe there's a store down here? Maybe I could get a cappuccino? All right, let's see how this goes. See ya, man. He was chill. <laughs> I think he's bad at giving directions though. Mine shafts and abandoned buildings and bears. Oh, wait a second. What do I see here? But that was a fun ride, huh? That was amazing. Yeah. I had a blast. How about you guys? Yeah. I came back here thinking uh, there was a store. Maybe there's a place I get a cappuccino back here. <laughs> they closed in 1906. Okay. I'm actually looking for the uh, Amelia Earhart uh, cabin. A mile, a mile, you said? Oh, so walk a mile. Oh gosh. Well, I didn't really bring my hiking boots. Slight change of plan. So I made it here to the old mining town right here in uh, Kirwan. And uh, this is all the, the mining ruins. And uh, this has been here for a long time, since the 1800s. Um, what I just discovered is uh, they've now closed the gate. So I cannot ride any further to get to Amelia Earhart's uh, cabin. Um, they said it's a hike. 
and I've talked to two or three people to confirm it's a, it's about a mile hike and I did not come with uh, hiking boots. Time to say goodbye to Kerwin and head to Thermopolis. Look how beautiful. I could do this all day. I guess I am doing it all day. you again I never found that cappuccino I never found it is this uh you know you know air heart went down below that one say say that again a million air heart cabin the one that's down at the creek oh it's down there yeah ah yeah that's the one that's all boarded up and okay um you know if they uh, down there, you know if they sell cappuccino? <laughs> what are y'all doing? Raspberries. Raspberries? Yeah. Are you serious? Yep. Yeah. I gotta try one. No way. Wild raspberries. Yeah, here. That's pretty great. Dude, thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, guys. Yeah, say hello. Okay. Fresh raspberries on the side of the trail. That is awesome. They tasted great. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Straight off the vine. Man. All right, well, I guess that was lunch, so... Let's keep on heading out of here. All right. Isn't this the one that had a hole in it? <laughs> it's so dark now, murky, I can't tell what's below. I better, I better change my route. I think it was on this side that was good. Made it. <laughs> it got mur murky over there. I couldn't see the bottom. Oh. There's a hole on the left. I remember going in, I almost forgot. Those Jeeps came through and I was like, oh shoot, there's a hole. <laughs> Y'all be safe. All right, have a good day. See ya. Bison. Amazing. Man, there's a lot of them here. There's got to be hundreds of those out there.
There's a couple of them. Look how fast. I've been told they're the fastest animal in uh, North America. I think that's what I heard. Like they run like 60 miles an hour or something crazy like that. I just turned a corner and found buffalo and antelope and oil rigs and all sorts of fun stuff out here to look at. Man, the scenery changed so fast. Okay, so I had fun out in Matitsi and Kerwin. And I set the GPS to take me to Thermopolis and I have it set where it takes me on back roads. and. This is a surprise, so I'm getting there, at least part of the way there, on dirt roads, which is awesome. And so I've just been seeing the, the greatest sights along the way so far. I honestly thought I was gonna be on pavement today the whole time, um, like back to Thermopolis, but no. I got a little surprise for me today. And so, and so we're headed there on dirt. I'm sure I'll hit pavement at some point, but so far this has been crazy cool. So I made it to Thermopolis, cool little city here in Wyoming, known for their hot springs. I believe this is actually uh, like a park here with uh, hot springs and uh, hotels and all sorts of things here. This really is, this really is. Are you from around here? No. What do you think about this, buddy? It's cool. It's Isn't that beautiful? Cool. Yeah. Is it hot? Yes. Oh gosh, it's really hot. It's like super hot. <laughs> yeah. This is a beautiful spot. So this is, uh, hey, nice to meet you guys. I'll see you around. Yeah. So this is uh, hot springs. They're coming out of the ground. Super hot. I didn't expect it to be that hot. Um, this is a cool place. The hot water comes out and it actually feeds into this river over here. And if it's cold weather, which it's not right now, if it's cold, you can actually see it like steams as it hits the water. It's pretty cool. We're getting here right at sunset. Had a long, wonderful ride from Metitsi. <laughs> I think I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of that. But look at this, look how beautiful this is. Beautiful. It smells like sulfur. Like, and maybe it is. It smells like sulfur, like a funky smell. It's very similar to Yellowstone, honestly. Um, yeah. How's it going? So it smells like Yellowstone. It's kind of got that sulfury, funky smell to it, but oh man, look at this. Check, check out the river right here. So the water flows off of this rock and into the river over here, and it's pretty awesome. It's just beautiful here. Isn't this great? So good. It's been an amazing day. And now it's time to soak in the hot springs. <laughs> 